Jesus Christ had to die on a cross like that because of our sin. And he took care of the problem of sin on that cross. And he took, pa- he took care of the problem of death by the resurrection. And if you are a child of God, Jesus Christ defeated sin. And you no longer practice sin, but you practice righteousness. You are not a man or woman of lawlessness. You are are men and women of righteousness. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. People who practice this lawlessness, they're continually missing the mark. What are you aiming at? It's a great question, right? What are you personally aiming at? What are you going for? What is your purpose? A very wise man once said, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. Paul talks about in the gospel, a person that is sinning is like, he's trying to, he's trying to catch the air. You know, your life, if you have no purpose, you have no aim, what are you living for? For a Christian, you have no shadow of a doubt what your purpose and your aim and your intention is. And we find in the Word is we don't practice lawlessness, but we practice righteousness. All throughout the week, what are you practicing? What are you perfecting? What are you trying to get better at? And why? That is the deeper question. That is the deeper question. Why? So Acts 2.42 is the foundation of the church. This is something I want you guys to never forget. This is the foundation of the church. This is where it says they were devoted to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. So if a church is not devoted to the Word of God, devoted to fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer, that's not a church. That's not a church at all. And a flourishing church, a healthy church, is filled with people that's devoted to the Word of God. Devoted to a fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. So one of the things that we've been practicing is prayer. Right? We should be practicing prayer. Not only that, if you truly are a child of God, you share the Word of God. So let me ask you a deep question. When's the last time you shared the Word of God to someone? That you evangelized to someone? You know, we're talking about the assurance of salvation in 1 John. And real Christians, they, they share God on a regular basis. And if you are not, you are either in sin or you are not a Christian. You truly are not a Christian. Because we share about what we care about. We share about what we love. It's just a natural thing that we do. And if you don't share God, that means you don't love God. And that is a reality I want you guys to understand. That we find in 1 John. The Word of God goes on. And when I pray, you know, God shows me people in here that are laughing, that are praising God, that are loving each other. But it's got to start with you, 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 and me. Our culture's got to change. Will you be part of that change?